I'm at Woven Abbey in the Sculpture Gallery for the Practical Motorhome Motorhome of the Year Awards 2014, in which 33 fantastic motorhomes battle it out in 11 categories, and there can be only one overall winner. So let's find out who takes the top gong. These annual awards celebrate the very best that our industry has to offer. The Practical Motorhome Test Team looks back over the past 12 months, and only vans that were new or substantially revised for 2014 are eligible to enter. Where possible, these motorhomes were tested before the judges finalised a three model shortlist for the 11 categories and scored each van for value for money, visual appeal, practicality, payload, storage and finally how well it delivers on its brief. The first trophy rewarded the motorhome judge best for innovation and the Autotrail V-Line 600 saw off strong competition with its clever new roof cap which gives extra headroom without spoiling its sleek looks. In addition to the main motorhome gongs, there is also an award for the best accessory, with the judging team shortlisting everything from vacuum cleaners to kettles. But the clear winner was the excellent Outwell Spring Hills camping chair. The best rising roof camper category gave a deserved victory to a motorhome channel favourite, the Wellhouse Terrier, before the shortlist for the best high top camper conversion category was revealed. Of the winner, our judges said, what mattered most in this class was just how well the candidates performed as a camper van. In the case of our winner, superbly is the answer. It's roomy enough for self-contained living, but a sensible size for urban jousting and country lane poodling. The winner is the Shire Phoenix 2XL Studio. Hi, I'm Gentleman Jack, and I'd like to show you what I think is a very exciting motor caravan. The Phoenix. 2XL Studio is one of a range of motorhomes converted by Shire Conversions. Let's have a deco inside. Have a look at this inside. Plenty of room. For those of you unfamiliar with Shire Conversions, uh, this award-winning company is led by Daryl Healy. The conversions are beginning to receive uh, traction in the marketplace and they've certainly got gravitas. Look at this great wide aperture not obstructed at all by any furniture. Perfect for my less mobile friends to get a wheelchair aboard. It's full height, very wide, low threshold, ramps or a lift can be put underneath. Of course it's equally good for everyone. Here I'm at one with the world. Dining arrangements are flexible. Um, dedicated storage in here provides us with an island leg and a tripod. Let me show you how it works. Island leg, tabletop. This is the coffee table sized one. There's also a larger dining one concealed here. If you wish to eat al fresco outside or perhaps want a table next to the settee, just open out the tripod and there you are. Kitchen next, as always the devil is in the detail. It's very well equipped. We have a stainless steel inset sink, drainer, three burner gas hob and a gas combi grill and oven. Across the aisle there's a 230 volt microwave for fans of nuke food. Below is a three-way fridge, which means it will operate on three different power sources. 12 volts whilst you're driving, 230 volts on site, or gas when you're on site. It's got a removable freezer compartment, which will increase the capacity for chilling. But I don't think you'll need it, because also included this wine cooler, thermostatically controlled. If you're really determined, you could put soft drinks in it but it would be against my advice. And that's not all. In this uh, cupboard under the sink, there's a slide out waste bin and a dedicated cutlery drawer. And we're still not finished. Look at this, a pop-up power dock. Three outlets there uh, for electric kettle, toaster, coffee percolator, whatever you fancy really. Moving rearwards and behind this door, we have what is a very well-designed shower room. The moulded basin has a chrome finish monoblock mixer tap, a separate one for the shower that's on a riser rail, a towel rail, and over here is the electric flush loo 
with uh, wheeled cassette above a rather good storage compartment for toiletries. I guess you've already seen this door latch here. Now I'm going to open it. What's behind it is in fact the great outdoors. Opening these doors enables the carriage of long narrow articles such as um, roll to carpet from the DIY store or if you're an outdoorsy type perhaps a kayak or a canoe and there's more. The shower head can be used to wash sandy feet or muddy paws. Okay let's sum up let's see what we've got. It's a well-equipped well-specified motor caravan two berth it's got some great design touches and it's a round of drinks under 47 grand. Not an inconsiderable amount of money, but when you see what the rivals have on offer, it stacks up well. Now, I'll just leave you with one thought. If you can't afford that, then Shark Conversions will do this conversion on a just pre-owned van. The price is 19,000 plus VAT for the conversion. I reckon it's a good way to go. Here's Daryl Healy from Shire Conversions, who had a big win tonight, batting off some competition from established manufacturers. So Daryl, the judges clearly like the product, you do too. What makes it so special, do you think? Is it a testament to all the hard work that you and your team put in over the years? Yes, and I'd like to congratulate all of our team back at the factory for all of their hard work uh, over the last 12 months to produce in producing the studio, which is the um, winner in our category this year. It's a great product, Daryl, and I'd imagine you've got more tricks up your sleeve over the coming model year. Yes, over the next 12 months we uh, plan to do the studio in a twin version for those that uh, prefer sleeping alone. And hopefully we can push that over the next 12 months and uh, Practical will uh, have a look at that. We certainly will, and obviously you'll be building on the new Fiat cab. Is that quite exciting, the prospect? It's very exciting. The, uh, the, new, uh, the new front is... Is, is far better than, than the, the last, you know, over the last year. And um, yeah, I think the, uh, the van will be improved. Excellent, we uh, await that with interest and thank you very much again, Daryl. Thank you very much. The best compact motorhome category recognizes those vans that are driving the current trend for downsizing and giving panel van conversions a run for their money. On the shortlist were the Adria Compact SPX, the Bailey Approach Compact 540, and the Marquis Majestic 125. Of the winner, our judges said, this van has a well-specified can, but it's in the habitation area where it really shines. A combination of compact dimensions, high spec level and superb build quality make it a worthy winner and a great homegrown alternative to the plethora of continental rivals on the market. The winner is the Bailey Approach Compact 540. Al Rob got his hands on the Approach 540 at the NEC last year and found it a great homegrown alternative to the plethora of continental rivals on the market. So the Compact is a shade under 6 metres long. It's also narrower than the previous Approach models. It's got an external width of 2.35 metres and an internal width of 2.19 metres. Nevertheless, it still feels quite spacious and compact once we step inside. It's based on the Peugeot Boxer chassis cab and powered by the 2.2 litre 130 brake model. That's more than enough muscle for a motorhome of this size. We really like the black cab styling. We like the molded low line section and also is that opening sunroof. At the rear, the wall is radius to the roof. It's a great looking young motorhome. The Compact 540 features an end washroom and a half dinette style front lounge with a side sofa. But we're going to step outside to show you a very special innovation. We're going to use this pod to show you that the 540 also features a very clever drop-down bed. It has a payload of 200 kilos, which should, should suit most couples. And as you can see, it has safety nets at either end of the bed. Underneath that mattress, you have the luxury Froley spring system, so it's extremely comfortable and air is able to circulate. It's not a new feature for motor caravanning. Manufacturers such as Shoson and Bursner have been producing drop-down beds for five years, but it is new to the British market. Bailey is the first to market with this system, and we applaud that. The benefits of 
a drop down bed is that you create loads of space inside the van. I'm seated here in the half dinette lounge. There's a forward facing sofa which has two belted seats and the two cab seats up front. It has three sleeping berths, the double bed which drops down from the ceiling and you can also make up a single berth across the width of the van underneath it. Moving back in the van, there is the compact kitchen area. It's split either side of the galley and it's perfectly workable. And at the very rear of the van, you have a full width end washroom. I really like this layout. To sum up, in a market where there is a trend for downsizing to reduce running costs, the 540 Compact has a lot going for it. But it also has some premium equipment features, such as Audi's wet central heating system and twin cab airbags up front. It's keenly priced, it has great looks, it has premium equipment, it's got an awful lot going for it.